Orange sure. Juice is so a great okay. example of this is Canada, which has, sure, right. A great example of this is Canada, which has incredible domestic pressure to not sell arms to Saudi Arabia, but they just greenlit them because of increased military pressures from COVID. Yeah, so do no, you have any evidence well, saying the U.S. would force Canada to follow on? We've also read other pieces of evidence that says that ending U.S. support is sufficient for Saudi Arabia to also draw down. This is just a preempt. Sure, I'm asking an argument specifically about uh, follow on. Cool. Um, do you have a single piece of solvency evidence post ceasefire? Like the recent ceasefire that happened a few days ago. Well, we don't. Yeah. No, it's on. It's on like the uniqueness part of the yeah. advantage. So we think that even thing. so we think that even though the ceasefire, like even though we don't have evidence that happened after the ceasefire, the conditions still remain. Okay. Cool. Sure. Um, on the sure on the framing, framing on the can I move on to the framing page? Yeah. Uh, on the framing page, what what distinguishes your evidence for empathy for people starving in Yemen? from the uh, victims of a hypothetical nuclear war? Well, the point is that the Conway evidence and the Patil and Silinati evidence establish a distinction between the way that empathy works when we use utilitarian versus deontological concerns. And it concludes that on the vast majority of instances, whenever we default to deontology, we are more likely to foster empathy within students and within human relationships, which is why it should be- like, Okay. so. How does the affirmative's assumption of things like internal link chains and the idea that the affirmative could solve for the conflict of Yemen, how is that deontological? Well, it is deontological because we're saying that certain things should be prioritized over others, i.e. that the Yemen war and that, that genocide is a moral obligation to prevent, which is a deontological consideration, which is why us wait, being the- sure. What's the difference between the genocide that, that happens in Yemen and the genocide that happens, or in the mass death that happens in the context of a nuclear war? Sorry, what? I didn't hear the question. It's fine. One in C is set. Uh, six off case. In the order of framing advantage. Everyone good? Uh, give us a sec. All right. Oh, uh, we're good. All right, sweet. Everyone good? First off, new relief package solves fast economic costs, but it's close by partnership's key one four six. Congressional leaders in the White House are converging to contain economic devastation. Trump's own support for some ideas, Democrats' backdoor, whichever comes to the economy, forces appear to have a little bit of decisions. A significant different difference to made sexual whether that's what we should deal post yet with proposals that are going to find most objectionable. The economy is already passed, and has already false questions about the next bill is how to pass the bill. Those successful ones is now dependent on the pandemic point of change in terms of Trump and Trump becoming the other one on the whole legislation. And the arms are partisan. The ATT proves AIMIT. The U.S. withdrawal from the AT, but it's part of the Trump and for human lives. Trump and the would withdraw from the Trump and the Trump and the I'm doing it to support an argument that this has established enough to human rights to do a corporate consent or incorporate in the Trump and 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 Negative trade expectations and generate tension in the leading the trade wars that increase the risk of military conflict of leaders and have stated finally made blame and strong dependence and refuse to deter by nuclear arms that oh, the, the, the greatest risk is it, it, it's the that the, the change in the world economy would render a state peace and then prepare to turn to the loose fight of border control by game winner. Or next up, um, next, next up, producer first, you see the measures of established qualitative or quantitative limits on weapon exports that's distinct from the app's restriction here in 88. Restriction of sales and tells the bargain to state or class of state or types of weapon, restriction of trade of transfers includes more specific, um, and then there's more, there's more similar to the such quantitative point of limits and a vote next for predictable limits. There's a policy of respect to the weapon in the country, which makes next part impossible. Next up, we want to say revisionist power to dominate the Middle East. Only containment restrains the ambitions of the principal war down to the modern IT. A lot of that's what they're power to the, the help of the side of them behind the common team and the goals and clear on dominating the Middle East. The new report built on a public and more and more involved in aggression. I have no pressure on the chain of and AP13 and AP14 aggression. I'm acting on that tech for been reducing arms plus collapse the US containment from the middle of the posture incentivized Iranian aggression for the first until 12. A policy to it to his whole what was the GCC, what was the 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 system means of terms and counteracting Iran, or to be encouraged to build nukes and then the brotherhoods around the world to see a policy is his whole what was the GCC, maybe maybe the DS will not punish the term events and the system of the development nukes and a very pain Iran, despite his security assurance in the East Asia, leading to casting the pros and great power war 2015. 
Asian allies worry about the press that runs and sets success for U.S. leadership to turn the Middle East Asia to make sure make the nation for thanks to Japan and of the U.S. is that it is hard to maintain more than possible balance around and worry about some minimum same power in the region of Shanghai with China that was out so as the intervention powers was introduced are both their power problems and allied power will cause nuclear war in every region 10 or 17 in the event of a nuclear Japan and so far with some nuclear war will be great nuclear arms and success for Japan and well there's an initial position and he has a very happy task for us to nuke in the Middle East or Latin America and after us can never know who will be medical and high next off the U.S. Saudi Alliance will continue after Shogi, but it's proud of the permanent team. The U.S. Saudi relationship will continue to Saudi Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia, and many of our allies in the NDF have been in Saudi Saudi Arabia, and the region to Iran, and the other minor credibility, how far beyond the region, which will establish the other side of Chinese and Germany, the size and find other partners, the size and turn them off, cover and force different alliance, and the plan is the U.S. Saudi alliance, be very key, it's not reasonable to keep your back on the trigger, back back on the size, and the NDF will also welcome to the position for more parts, rather than overseas, I'm supposed to say, as an instance of just the transaction, but as a limit, as whether countries will throw against it, a given current Saudi war, and it's about the other otherwise functional alliances, ever armed, because in the top five, the U.S. is in space. And expanding Russian China and Iran into Germany was for nuclear great power war and collapse of the global economy, you grab you Mitchell 16. Revisionist powers were using a strategy of China and Russia. We're we'll, we'll, we'll learning from one another. We're going to pursue our own sort of 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 the United States federal government essentially increased diplomatic contacts with Saudi Arabia and Antar all with the purpose of establishing mutually agreed requirements for these soft home agreements and invitation with an immediate though some pretty fighting occurring in ports and port cities. The efforts to get Saudi Arabia to establish back channels and mutual conflict points with the Antar all and diplomatic forums and meetings between Saudi Arabia and Antar all and with military de escalation with a long term focus on the termination of the Houthi Iranian alliance with power sharing agreements in Yemen. I, the kind of went solved ICG 19. International I have uh, seized the initiative of the, the, the three ports in the part of the, the, the city for the community to make an access to Holland, who's the cross border attack and training exchange for a positive time in Russia and in Saudi Arabia, and they're trying to exchange between the targets. I understand the entry the kingdom and then his little less than the world to the head of Iran, who's the official army that's not the status, yes, completely well by Russian right as well as the region that was in contact with the world. They're going to do it, 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 they General relations, they point to is a presence of male dominance as competitive and combative and feminist journey and narrative about the concept of four words and ten women masculine femininity. A feature that's that was with this other special balance of women, women activists who grew up in order to sway them, like an indigenous female balance deal with women's civilization with an eye insist that's a part of the relationship of the ACC, the feminist analysis, and the patriarchy, and the group causes them to be the first place. Science and militarism and war fighting that makes the war always more likely in the alternative is to reject the act in favor of an ontological or vicious and then deconstruct the myth of the masculine, western, selfish, and so forth. The mainstream takes a moment of democratic reality to give them feminism go beyond the appearance and examine how far her social or social or human issue might stop from taking account general as long as it's a part of further on slash what elements will continue to be reduced in all positive or more or less according to what I'm saying of white. I'm not going to see my own problematic is that this is how the mental health testing is necessary itself and not in a possible relation to the federal department of harmony that's one in any sudden national cell that's power with power and influence and on the framing it's extinction not ways lost control one third use and assess alternative on the way of looking at it and I have to show us our president saying oh that's how she might be confused but we may not know what happens with how that's a big win. If you're uncertain about what's in the aims of the discrete, we'll talk about your observing and learning, and that's why you need an institution training that we can show you the end of the day. That's why you need to increase the probability of the control of the pain. I'll find you in the risk is bad to time's probability. Balance is different with ours, but probability first falls prey to psychological biases and leads to mass death. Part 08. Social science, their bias, the phenomena that are freaking the bubble, sick, the thing has no bias, which leads to the right type of extreme events, and it's kind of conceptual binders like that. The record is absolutely what will be pulled apart to deal with this as a probability theory is incomplete when we even use to make a decision about what governments should do. When you possibly see things with this film, we can be talking about something on the advantage, how it comes as an all cause, which works in. The report provides a troubling snapshot of all the known and by this amount of the challenges of a poor time, how we play the country's face in. The number of infections that in this one will continue to rise to a sharp rate that this is from 19 the Yemen's nightmare scenario. They had a total of the three testing centers. Immediately, given the last time, important information from 80 to 90 cents, and they're necessary to get as virtually no attacks on the country's 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 the unprecedented unilateral set of societies found in the start of the coronavirus pandemic may help push off parties in and in which I turned her in April 9th, Darby and a unilateral on two weeks. He started the coronavirus may well provide the guarantee of coming to Canadian facing the opportunity for all parties Saudi Arabia concerned. It's a different action by now from the DC fire is seeing access to Saudi Arabia harvest that the talks to who these ever putting their first major human government government military laws in years of the society's one out. Saudi is stepping up attempts to de escalate and punish those who tax civilians and murders 19. 
Saudi promised to investigate military operations that they hasten as been has been referred to the coalition and keep moving keeping with the amendment to international humanitarian law Saudi Arabia has set up in Port Harcourt with the Houston ceasefire and stopping arms of Saudi Arabia guarantees a Houthi victory turns case in nights at all 19. A growing chorus called in the yes, which all yes support the Saudi war for the all movement of all the options. This is literally like the like, 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 stop the killing. The fighting will go on. Troops remain elusive and must possess accepted. They have nothing to gain. A little less in the fighting. The road runs supposed to be immediately immediate, accepting perfect bloodshed and ethnic cleansing. We're going to negotiate the settlement and end the war. We are recommending such a joint going. Other reasons such 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 settlements are with all yes support. One bold the Houthis and their and their riding support and paying them much less for the settlement. Agreement and the left and the left and the Houthis are given a power from the settlement. Agreement and the left 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 and the the Houthis are worse than in IT. Saudi pilots have been receiving high level training to reduce civilian casualties. The SSS has been working to improve the procedures and encourage expedited transfer. The SSS has helped improve the training and has helped improve the SSS. The SSS 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 has helped improve the SSS. The My bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, let's start on the advantage page. The COVID thumper, like, what does it thump? Uh, I think it would. It thumps the genocide. Uh, I think. I think it thumps deaths of mass amounts of people in Yemen. I. I, I think that evidence is pretty good on how uh, Yemen, like, Yemen is unique. It's uniquely. Dying, it thumps our impact of Yemeni people dying. I mean. I, 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 I think, no, I, I think, I, I think that in conjunction. Wait, no. Yeah. Your evidence says that the problem is that Yemen doesn't have like medical, like equipment. If they could get the aid, which like Saudi Arabia is blocking, wouldn't that solve for the COVID? -19? The card also indicates Yemen has all of three testing centers, which wouldn't be provided by a lack of Saudi blockade. That's a structural infrastructural problem in the Yemeni government, which the affirmative it's would also, not solve. Constantly it also says human laws and imports for some 80 to 90 percent of necessities. These are structural factors the app okay. can't solve. It means humans uh, uniquely uh, dependent. Counter plan. Uh, oh, wait, status of the uh, off. Status quo is always an option. So conditional? Yeah. All right. Uh, can you kick links? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. The. Wait, no. Yeah. On the, the K, the. What is an ontological revisionism? I think Eleanor can answer that better than I could. Sure. So the ontological revisionism identified in the Young's evidence is sort of a fundamental ground up reevaluation of how the U.S. does foreign policy. The Cochrane evidence identifies a couple of specific examples where this sort of lens of foreign policy has been combined with feminist grassroots movements across the world to create real structural change. It identifies people like the Okinawan women against military violence who used okay. this sort of uh, um, change in Japan's uh, change in Japan's wait, uh, military structure. Can you walk me through the links to the app? Sure. sure. On so the, the on the counter plan, what incentive does Saudi Arabia have to say yes to the proposition that the counter plan like creates? I, I think we have that the ICG evidence is quite good on the question of how both sides want to come to the table and that this is a solution that will offer both them to reach a peace settlement. We also okay. have incredibly so, recent okay. evidence indicating like the that. reason this so is is happening now is written, so the ICG evidence was obviously written before ceasefires that occurred near the end of 2019, such as the Riyadh Agreement. So if you were correct that all of those like factors were in place, why did the Riyadh Agreement fail? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, we actually this have the... specific recent evidence indicating oh, that oh, right no. now Saudis uniquely want to end the war. Yeah? Uh, well, near, uh, uh, yeah, no. See, 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 yeah, no. I, I also don't think that that really... No, no, see, that ceasefire was not implemented with these requirements, right? These are different things. So this is an ICG proposal of which we should do. Those were not implemented, which means that, that like, the solvency of this question has not been seen. Okay, so so what parts have not been implemented? Because like right now, your evidence just says Saudi should establish back channel communication with Ansar Allah. They've already done that before the Riyadh agreement. The US already has pressure, et cetera. Okay, uh, I'll send it up.
Did everyone get it? I do not have it. I also do not have it. Oh, okay. I just got it. So is everyone good? Uh, what's the order? The order? Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, so case, so the advantage framing, T subsets, so T Pearson, the negotiations counter plan, the Saudi relations to SAD, the Iran appeasement to SAD, the politics to SAD, then the K. Can you repeat that? Yeah, so the advantage, framing, T, the counter plan, the Saudi relations to SAD, the Iran appeasement to SAD, the politics to SAD, and the K. All right, sweet, I'm good. All right. Literally no peace. Uh, relations. 
Obama and P. Jones said, Trump, Trump ended mid era feeling. What sort of them? They're so late. What is it? We only had offensive sales. Their evidence assumes a complete breakthrough. So even if the office is younger, civil Saudi Arabia has to keep the alliance going because they need the U.S.'s military presence as well as the evidence is oil and economic benefits. He has recently deployed military presence as Elder 20. Air Force Force, Missile Guards, Disturbers, 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 Disturbers,
where does it have any, like, any warrant about who the officials speaking, like, what their motives are? I didn't read the Rico. Um, okay. Let's go to Ron Deal. This non evidence. It's from five years ago. How does that assume literally anything, including, like, certain, like, the ending of the Iran deal or Iranian aggressive actions after COVID-19, et cetera. So the NAM evidence makes a structural claim about the way that Rouhani looks at the world and says that structurally, so he, it makes two arguments. One is that Iran has had multiple experiences of collaboration with Western nations in Europe, as well as other Western powers, not just the United States. So they know the value of cooperation whoa, whoa, whoa. and believe whoa, that whoa. they shouldn't always just expand. The second has one US, is that the wait, 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 no, no, no. US, do you want to I have a question. No, actually, I'm very confused about something right now. Um, has you have U.S. and European diplomatic posture towards Iran changed in the past five years? Well, we think like, that this is actually five European years ago. responses haven't changed as drastically because it talks about how Rouhani does have experience with working with European countries on issues like ISIS, so they do not want to fracture those ties by expanding more in the Middle East. Well, I, I mean, I, I think that now, like, it has, how does this not assume, I mean, how does it assume things like sanctions, where they are putting tons of, okay, things, so I agree tons with of pressure that, like, on them, might be where they have to expand Trump, in order to do that? So, yeah, it might be true that Trump has taken a more hardline stance towards Iran, but the last line of the NAM evidence preempts this and says that they argue that they think that the U.S. is in decline, but still thinks that Washington has power and that they argue with dealing with the U.S. in a non-confrontational manner. So How does it make a predictive claim about what they will do past like a coronavirus pandemic or things well, like I mean, that? Okay, this, like, this, is, this is a good example. So this evidence says that Iran will never deal with the U.S. in a confrontational manner. Literally, Iran has never like attacked a U.S. military facility without being attacked first, Ex which proves their point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They attacked, a, uh, they attacked a U.S. base in Iraq a few days ago. How yeah, does no, that not that was in that? response to Soleimani. So that in that, that case, everything is in response to everything. That's, that's, a, that, that's fine. Effects. Don't this Abdur on their own accord. That's fine. This Abdur Razak evidence. Um, how does like even if Saudi Arabia is not willing to use those weapons, how does that indicate the signaling of the arms sale? The signaling of the arms seals towards who? Yeah. So then the the oh. Rosenfield the Rosenshield evidence says that the only signal that arms seals send to Iran is that there is the potential that GCC states can retaliate to Iran's attacks. The oil attack clearly showed Iran that. Iran just no, 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 retaliation no. from Saudi Arabia because even though Iran no, wiped no. out half of Saudi Arabia's oil, Saudi Arabia literally did nothing in response. So often it's, it's about no, it's trip. about U.S. support and U.S. signaling commitments to back up Saudi Arabia. How does this speak to that? Well, okay, if that is true, then why did Iran bomb Saudi oil if they really thought that the U.S. would come to their defense? The fact that the U.S. did not defend Saudi Arabia at all during it's the oil attack proves our point that at this point deterrence is incredible at all. Like. Okay, um, I'll start prep 10 minutes starting now.
Stop prep. I have 656. Did people hear me say stop prep? Okay, cool. Um, the order is. Here, let me send it first. Should be sent. The order is politics, decay, the counter plan, the relations is sad, and case in the order of framing, then advantage. Is anyone not ready? Cool. First on the politics ad, concede the no impact death number decline. I'm not going for it. They say politics has their voting issue. No, reject the argument, not the team that all my answers and conditionality will probably cross play. Go to K. Conditionality is good. A logic proven the counterplan is bad and prove the plan of superior to success quo. The decision maker always the right to do nothing. Marriage will create an illogical model of the opportunity cost B's ideological flexibility. Box ends key test from the left and the right breed confidence advocacy. Force the advocacy of middle ground in response to both ends of the ideological spectrum. We're learning to advocate the middle ground is valuable. C is next flexors and a topic counterplan check back instead of standard for all apps. And there is a topic dis condo is key to offset D is no impact. Two in our collapsing gets firms or worse. Key differences add in times few worse. E is double on theory. Right on our room so the app is a one to five time advantage of causes subsequent product. See the permutation sounds competition. I'm not going for it. Go to the counterplan. The counter plan solves 100% of the case. Negotiation solved. Now we'll read a lot of evidence indicating Saudi Arabia wants to get out of the war. It's only a question of sustainable peace negotiation. The counter plan provides that by creating U.S. pressure for peace to work. First, efficiency for me. Good is good enough. Any solvency deficits are impossible to quantify. You should prefer any chance of that benefit over arbitrary solvency deficits. See, should be the burden of the firm to prove that it's necessary to solve the burden of the negative. Prove that it's sufficient to solve on the line by line. First, they say the permutation, but no permutation of no their shielding argument. The GC needs at least an evidence. It's arms arm sales to Saudi Arabia, which means it still triggers the link to both the relations decide and the Iran decide. All the abroad chases so was permitted. Let's we'll make it do anything new. They say the counterplan is no theoretical justification for why they should get this counterplan is incredibly distinct because it doesn't actually end arms. It's funny, great, which means there's no permanent counterplan justification. They say no pressure, but I'll read a lot of so group all of their so solvency arguments. It fundamentally it's all a bit from 2019 or 2018, which means that our evidence specific to this Saudi ceasefire will outweigh. We'll also read about uh, for framing you, you should also perform our evidence on uh, the explicit comparatively only the counterplan for a sustainable peace. Out of influencer. Oh, wait, we're checking arms now speaking directly the record of the war, the war economy, the difficult to plan, the peace would have to reckon with the frozen deaths of the war anymore by the word she said a comic that's giving the shit and policy to rewind the proponents of accountable governance. Seems like they said from a push for reconstruction of the address of sustainable peace and supporting negotiations solved now. The Saudis want to leave. This is their 1AC evidence. We just cut the first half of the article. 1AC should lane 410. The US pressure of support for Saudi who the NH renamed negotiation region includes the lasting political summit of the conflict and hurdle warring party PM and my standard reason why we're just fire like that all this possible. So we may finally have an option to consider the material fire like this to get him in Saudi Arabia last reason the bandwidth to keep them built your actual yet to the PM and it provides incredibly applause and said Saudi Arabia Saudi government's also not getting a price war pressure between COVID 19 price and low price or shoveling money. Become too costly. This evidence indicates that none of their other solvency deficits apply because all of it is from the 2019 world shutdown through the COVID 19 crisis and the low prices of oil devastating the Saudi economy. Now they want to get out of the war, which is a thesis level claim. We will win on every part of this flow. Saudi would negotiate with the Houthis for four recent abs, low zero four nine. Saudi Arabia is more highly motivated than ever in the war. People would love them to be harder than national recognized legitimate transitional government providing the combination of political voice and legitimacy that creates the 1990 Saudi Senate versus the Haiti government to do the leverage. And the war is almost over. Students are on the brink of victory, and Saudis want to come to the table. Low zero. Four nine, try Marie Bob sent to take paper in the last time we're talking about Yemeni government who's a victory could fell in the Yemeni government Saudi Arabia signaling operation of Williams and the world's right of devastating could have created opportunity for all the parties who already seen fire without a period of even there are the only other argument they have in this council this is an outdated solving deficit it's a link to that benefit argument but they don't have an articulation of what the pressure to Saudi Arabia would not be distinct from the arms of really a lot of arms key evidence on the dissent which we'll go to now. 
The U.S. study lines will continue political pressures from the killing of Khrushchev. She made it fragile. Burma gives two warrants. One is balancing U.S. study lines to keep her better run from becoming a major power in the region. The only thing holding back is U.S. protection. Second is abandonment. The U.S. leaving the alliance for Saudi Arabia to make a choose from other partners. Those partners will be China and Russia and relations tied down proposals to ally an oil market manager from the energy crisis. Doesn't deck relations. Guarded to 31 top officials put aside proposals. The alliance for Saudi Arabia to go lower market the cost of even consider high levels of cost of the death and crisis. We're in the global oil industry road. Burma informs the U.S. economy. Trump returns to the from Saudi Arabia. I'm saying has to buy hundred billion dollars. U.S. hoping to help make the last shipments of oil bit covered. Run a few imposed sanctions 2018 and on the link to the plan uniquely decks this alliance. Beaver gives three warrants. One is reckless and Samuels with total deference on his wishes, especially in the context of arms sales. He throws a chance from any time he doesn't get what he wants. Uniquely answered any interoperability or other partners of. And second is limit test. Saudi sees them says that whether a country supports them or not. The F creates a sense of abandonment. Third is Yemen wars. High stakes. Beaver running them unable to withdraw. Saudi knows they can't rely on the U.S. harm. So i Saudi would not pursue endless engagement with our reliable parties from those means to have some black and leave hot. Saudi would be taking a violation with that development hard course in reverse. Saudi cannot look at them and abandon allies and critical judgment needs to turn around. And four, like time frames to frame the argument relations are on us between perception. The plan is immediate insolvency. Takes longer means there's only a risk we turn. Case arms are key to U.S. Saudi relations. Answers all of the all costs. I think U.S. Saudi relations builds in simple premise. Watching the rights of the arms are going to relations. Pass me and team launch. Saudi military by Washington. We're out together and go to the impact debate. They just had always in terms case increase in Russia, Chinese, and Iran. And yet, U.S. Germany, which is an impact filter, 13 states controlling the most cruise conditions for great power conflict. Yemen War 13 backsliding incentivize the continuation of the war in Yemen and hedge decline is on the brink now. But the US needs to step up containment. China specifically is a threat. Democracy died at 325. The US refused to recognize there is a competition between countries and passive with sides. They don't have a plague of the failure. The CP and France, the world's likely for China's region gained power for Chinese Africa. There's one dimension in the way China opposes the world, not the greatest one, the greatest that China sent to the global Germany. That answers all of their hedge defense evidence because we're not going for the Russian stuff and it's more unique than any other defense on hedge. Go to case on frame it. Extinction outweighs obliterate the essential condition for value makes it a prior question. Second, scaling everyone for ethics and sacrificial logic of this side. That's a disad to the all. VTL can never be zero. It's framing it as always an absolute pretext for violence to make people ethically disposable. Third is more alternative. You can't know what the best ethical course for humanity's existence. Create the question of a possibility for value. That's flawed. Remain for is utility. Never pause. Dance logical claim. This group must resolve on a consequential claim in order to do the rights or key to human flourishing. Next, your choice or action does or doesn't cause. That means we are prerequisite to uphold their framing. Cross X is devastating on that fourth point because they don't have any. Explanation for bright line between what deontology, what utilitarianism, and they to say deontology is we look more closely at genocide than YouTube. And no, we still say that things like uh, things like the genocide, the entire world, and the context of nuclear holocaust would still be bad. And VTL and subjective life is a prerequisite that also provides defense to all of their empathy claims because they don't have an external impact to empathy other than some nebulous VTL claims. So you don't let them make it into an external impact. That's worth it too. Determination of life is subjective to be made in person, experience, but the decision in person one, then what do you mean externally bad? And the person, the individual, must get an opportunity to die for themselves by the thing alive or And they Say the probability person's psychological bias of a Clark answers is only value and probability leads to scope neglect. The number like billions are obscured and frequency bias for most common events are prioritized. Turns are framed because these low probability high uh, high magnitude events still cause unique levels of death and association. Katrina proves their internal links rely on the same linear predictions are disadds to the NC still they say, say these political actors would react in XYZ ways, which means we will stop this concrete level of violence. The only link is based on saying nuclear war, but that's not conjunctive, it's a possibility given existing tensions. We've accurately analyzed in the Middle East the explanations and doesn't make the disad less likely than any of the advantage can force them to create an incredibly predictable bright line for this claim or don't give them any wide sweeping offense and any just how do we go for and utilities necessary in public policy making which is uniquely key good 95. COVID is the war now. Our evidence is Saudi doesn't have the motivation to keep fighting, and they're looking for a way out. They've entered talks a bunch of times, ignored who these advances have been, abandoned the most offensive war making measures. The thesis level claim that means there's no impact they have, and the counterplay of course, the three pieces of all the evidence. They run on the counterplay. Even if we don't go for it, there's even the idea that Saudi wants to fight the war now, and I'll give the Harvard for 12 evidence to claim that uh, 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 COVID means that Yemen definitely won't recover. Our evidence is infrastructural issues that are fundamental, external to the Saudi blockade, which means there will still be millions of people dying in Yemen. They can't solve the civil war continues, even if Saudi retreats. They're wanting to see evidence again. We recut the article one issue. Chilean for ten. Even Saudi maintains this is fine. Virtually all the forces of the Yemen war continue. All welcome into high heels. Not in the minds of the Yemen domestic war and fashion. And incredible genocide services are crazy. Fire into the matter for who these guys skip the Johnson evidence. Then the civilian casualty rapidly decreasing. Honey, says new training program lead to increased accuracy and target procedures. All the one eighty examples of civilian casualties were accurate, which means all we have to win is the Saudi government has gotten more accurate and stringent in approving sales. All uh, uh, yeah. Um. 
I'll read the Johnson evidence. Yemen will never recover from the civil war. John's 18. Civil war existed before Saudi Arabia intervened. You no longer have to leave the worst of fighting until we had the anti alliances. I like to break apart when Saudi Arabia is withdrawn. This helps us when I want to succeed. Mark her to see. I'm moving for cross X. Are you good? Yeah. So on case, the only argument you extended was this like COVID thing, right? Um, I guess I would say no. First, I extended that COVID ends the war now. Second, I extended that COVID means that Yemen won't recover from the civil war. So like the number of people yeah, you say okay. are dying in Yemen from airstrikes will still die. I also extended the civilian casualties turn that Saudi Arabia is getting more effective at targeting airstrikes. Okay, that makes sense. Um, on the Saudi relations side, you read this HARB evidence um, that's like, it's high stakes for Saudi Arabia. They fear Iran, which means that they will literally never withdraw from the Yemen war. Why does this not take out solvency for the counter plan? Sure, because our evidence and the link evidence is in the context of Saudi perceptions as of 2019. We would say that their understanding that they still fear the U.S. abandoning their support is still true. But we have evidence that assumes a coke crisis and an oil literal price collapse that entered yeah, them into then, a okay, huge oil fire pressure. Evidence makes a structural claim about the way that Saudi Arabia views the war, says that they will never, ever leave it because they care so much about confronting Iran. Yeah, this is I'm sure that Harb like, was very, I'm sure Harb knew what was happening at the time, but I'm also sure they didn't assume a worldwide pandemic that would threaten to wipe out half of the Saudi royal family. So then Harb doesn't matter then? Like, uh, so then, so basically <clears> like has no relevance as of now for like Saudi relations? We would say that what Harb describes is a Saudi internal psychology that is fearful of American abandonment, not necessarily of losing the war in Yemen. That's the claim of the negative. Um, okay, on the counter plan, where have you read evidence that says the Houthis will agree to the proposal that is given by the counter plan? Sure, so our evidence indicates, <clears throat> is very specific that First of all, we recut 1AC evidence indicating that U.S. pressure to bring both parties to the table will resolve the blocks and negotiations. We would say that it's your own thesis level argument that Saudi Arabia has been the party preventing peace talks from succeeding in the past. I feel like you probably have a lot of evidence on that question okay, in your yeah, 1AC. That makes sense. So, okay, if that is true, then what sort of an agreement will the U.S. try to push for between Saudi Arabia and the Houthis? Like, what will that agreement look like? Um, we're not going to make a definitive claim. We would say the agreement would probably include a withdrawal of Saudi-supported um, uh, forces, a prevention of the continued air and naval blockade, and it would uh, provide for some ambiguity surrounding that. So how do you prevent a ceasefire like the one that's happening in the status quo, where Saudi Arabia says that they will withdraw their forces, but refuses to try to enforce measures on the naval sure, blockade? I would make a dis sure, I would make a distinction between a ceasefire and a political settlement. Our evidence indicates that a yeah, political so, so, settlement yeah, is exactly. possible so, post ceasefire. So, so how do you like convince Saudi Arabia and the Houthis to stop disagreeing over things? When the Houthis want Saudi Arabia to stop the naval blockade, Saudi Arabia doesn't want to do it. And they have so many like- Yeah, Saudi Arabia does want to stop the naval blockade. Our evidence speaks to a thesis level claim that Saudi Arabia wants out of the world, well, even the naval blockade. It, why did they not stop it along with the ceasefire? Because they stopped with the ceasefire. We're arguing that Saudi Arabia wants to get out of the war. <clears throat> we'll take prep. One hour sent. It's- uh, uh, They'll take prep. Right. Oops. Mm -hmm.
Y'all good? Uh, it will be just the Iran descent. Wait, where can we eight or ten? Did you send it? Uh, yeah. I sent it before y'all finished. Okay, everyone good? Oh, we're good. All right. All right, good. I'll take that as yes. All right. Framing issue. Agent Pro with assets and concession stuff that makes it try or die. Causes mad gas for strike to arm tracing in as his territorial conflict. That's one and see chance for Japan and South Korea will nuke each other in China to settle disputes. Draws in the US because of alliances and schools over Latin America and Europe. It's reacts to external officers to tire break or tire break out ways to determine twos and macro twos, and you can only die once. We turn case on two levels. First, the link of the text on solvents. Rather than drawing down aggression, the will pocket the app, ask for more concessions, and get angry when they're denied. Includes aggression against Saudi and prolongs even more. Second, the impact pro is obvious. Any reason the app is good increases Saudi aggression and triggers last night even by escalating the conflict. They continue a broader plan that allies internationally with the US containment posture on the wrong with calculating instead of support, which includes Saudi Arabia. That, 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 that's cancer. It also means that most of their defense does not apply because it's all a question of whether or not I, 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 I was perceived as certain things to be true, i.e., um, that I, um, uh, I don't know anymore on versus on here. We don't, win the, we don't need to win defensive roles. And A is that China, Japan, China, and Korea all perceive Iran as revisionists, which means it doesn't matter if they, if they are, and as long as they're going to see them as revisionists. And the B is the link to the switch. Reprise of resources enables Iran to dominate the region. Iran is a revisionist, and that's the motto. A is impure. The two is no counter. They should provide the nuclear deal, cause them to increase support for support on the global for territory, and they should accelerate their nuclear program. Probably don't support for Assad, the fact they're even involved in the human conflict at all, prove their drive for increased influence. B is only we assume common campus. Leave everyone. The kill with the heart rate of heart rate hitting sex on the country and all the heart rate of the country and all the heart rate of the demons and all the heart rate and all the heart rate of the demons 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 and all the heart rate now, campus of the one. Trump, Trump has outlined an imprint pressure along with all the sanctions of imposing new ones down on the side of time. Really, those sanctions are one as rejecting humanitarian assistance in this law. The other sanctions of this is using the group of it. That's the national one. You can get government's aspect of the situation to resolve the national community. The next one was the outlaw. The government's never even mentioned the offensive weapons. It's also a U.S. commitment to our allies because the entire world is allied, but with not Iranian and Iranian history. That was all about it. I'll do it to be here. The plan to rest in payment charges. There's three specific points. Number one is credibility. The final side defense list. It trips away their capacity to deter war with the demands of Iranian aggression. Field. And number two, the plan causes the to win the war. That's the Iranian hedge and fuels the cause which takes out sovereignty. Gordon 19. Iran is legally funding Yemen's Houthis with this insurance that they're not in the Iranian city or with the Saudi Houthis, but we'll attend to have taken over Yemen, Syria, and Lebanon, Iranian aid, and then we'll try to talk to everyone else. This is how they have in Yemen because it's outside of Iran. Maximum pressure for our political opponents. This is how it's supposed to be. We're going to keep expanding the war. That would be easily won. And all of us have had a laundry list of services that are key to deter Iran. Courtsman and Harrington 18. Iran has made advances in creating forces. The concern in shipping Yemen's power production and counter Thank you. 
research that also talked about with early on cases. Also, modern stitching in chemistry areas is the enhanced return for Google Sickles to add these arms and parts of the low defense edge and a conventional low levels of modern stitching over on the different fiber warfare and fiber on the effort on the other side of the sporting internal division. Oh, thank you, 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 they don't matter at all. It's only a question of whether or not we're sending, um, whether or not we're sending signals on the signals of a cooperation and uh, 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 almost, you know, the back of our allies, allies too, and the two allies like Saudi Arabia and through, through arms and through arms with the core dynamics. It's excellent. And, and, much, and much more specific on specific to FMS and how specifically FMS are uh, in terms of deterrent capabilities and uh, uh, like against the countries like I for one, which is the ability to process an arms key claim, which is also made by one team in the field. What? Also, um, when you read a card on case, send it out. Yeah. I sent it out. On, on a case. Canada's not cause for World War so four nine. Canada, Canada, that's 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 We are 309. Cards? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sending it out. 
this. Okay, the order case advantage framing. Uh, the counter plan. The relations this ad, and then the Iran this ad. Is anyone not ready? Wait one second. I'm opening the doc right now. Uh, okay, I'm good. Okay. On the advantage, they say that COVID thumps, but we obviously can't solve all of the violence caused by COVID-19, but we can make it comparatively better. At least there won't be age strikes or naval blockades uh, to stop uh, the aid from coming in. They say that the ceasefire sold with Tosco, that she, uh, she lined Harbidal and Hubar. That, of course, is the Saudi announced the ceasefire will continue the violence uh, to make it seem like the Houthis were the ones to continue the war. They'll use the Houthi violence as an excuse to restart the war. Second, they think uh, Saudi thinks that they can still win the war. Warlords have the influence over them. Third is they don't want to give up an influence to Iran. And fourth is that airstrikes have continued on Houthi targets. Fighting is escalating and Houthi demands uh, to do Demands are being met. AFP 416 Yemen's uh, war shows that no sign of abating out the Saudis and clear truth. Despite how Saudis and Iran fighting on the ground and collision just like, uh, continue. Come up, cut the car and continue. They say the Saudi uh, targeting is, is getting improved, but it doesn't matter if the blockade is ongoing and genocide uh, should still always be rejected. They say Canada, uh, they, they say Canada, but it doesn't sound because Jane and Fauci have been saying that the U.S. arms shows is sufficient. Saudi can't get maintenance from the, any other country, and the signal is uh, strong enough on the framing page. They say extinction first, but prefer a uh, probability and multiply the links. It's key to prevent a 0.001 chance uh, of extinction outweighing millions of deaths that's happening now and genocide comes first because bystanders have an obligation to the victims and it's unethical to watch suffering without doing anything they uh, say you told first but reject you told first the study so uh, show it's the first it suppresses empathy while a deontology fosters the only empathetic uh, practice uh, gives us the emotional intelligence and reduces bias to make us better pe uh, people that was the Miko. second is you told it's incoherent because future lives cannot suffer this means they have always always on magnitude because our impact are the only ones that exert violence now uh, that's Olsen the counterplay Reject this, their sufficiency, sufficiency framing. Genocide must be rejected in every instance. It's not. It's never going to be good enough. We're uh, confirming uh, to both. It shows because the plan would be spun as an effort for negotiations and make the backlash because uh, uh, sorry, uh, oh. The counterplay can't solve the, the Yadav and Schroeder evidence from 2018 should be thrown out because it doesn't assume recent conditions. The uh, Shailene evidence goes at the bottom of the half of the Shailene evidence. Says, Despite these conditions, Saudi will not uh, leave the war because they think they can still win and they don't want to give up ground uh, to Iran. Also, if they're right, that Saudi will negotiate. The Houthis will not. The one you see evidence says that Saudi will not be able to blockade despite the conditions their evidence talked about, which means that the Houthi will never come to the table. That was the MEM evidence. Also, the counterplay sells uh, because the uh, peace talks uh, take years. Saudi Arabia will never take them seriously. Only ending on sales will make them focus. That was the Christian evidence. That child uh, dies every time. 10 minutes, so the counterplan is complicit with the genocide and kills thousands. Second, is Saudi to violate the peace talks. The Abdul Karim evidence says that Saudi is ramping up the war now. It's fight. Uh, talk with Houthis are launching airstrikes and bombing Houthi targets with a cruise. Uh, they never intended to end the war in the first place. They, uh, yeah, no, yeah, we're good. Yes. We, 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 oh, okay. Cross the end of no negotiations fail. Cross the proves that repression Saudi is a vague term and they don't know what a settlement will look like. Montgomery says that the uh, means uh, that Trump will won't expend enough to capital for Seoul because he doesn't want to look weak on Iran. And Trump will agree to a vague deal to make it look like he's a deal maker with three stars of war because the settlement will be incomplete. The uh, relations this said. Obama and the PGM should have definitely come the impact. There's no link. One way only an offensive sales. Georgia and uh, Goldman Adams says that defense sales like that uh, can uh, defend Iran. Second, it, wait, Omar says that Saudi uh, cares so much about the US prices that they will not uh, seek alternative guarantees from Russia and China because they know that Russia and China don't have the same military infrastructure as in the area. The hard evidence says that Saudi will never draw down, which proves that the counter plan fails. Relations decline is inevitable. First, it's definitely dead. Soleimani was a bull from the blue belt. After all, it's Italy. And now the second is Iran not responding to September attacks. Made Saudi lose uh, faith in the alliance. Their only answer was that the U.S. increased arms, uh, but the Passov evidence assumed that this and said that arms weren't enough to make up for the lost reliability. They uh, no internal link to Russian hedge uh, impact doesn't turn states. There's no reason the Yemen war would restart. There's no reason why Saudi is key to Russian hedge in the region. Russia already extended their arms uh, to Iran, Egypt, and Turkey. That was a clean enough evidence, and they expanded to Syria. That was Rachman. There's no uh, internal. Huh? Yeah.
and uh, BRI Cement Chinese Hedge in the Middle East, China developed de de deep economic ties and uh, is working on infrastructure is a key, it's uh, on a Chinese Marshall Plan. That was the linger evidence, which speaks oh, about that internal link. Uh, uh, Ryan just said, no turns case, Iran can't ask for more concession into Yemen because they're all, uh, because our defense group that they don't have the capability to expand. Iran's military is outdated. The DIP is began as a poorly trained uh, army. That was the assignments. And the uh, prolif doesn't turn their evidence about Asian proliferation, not Saudi prolif. The threat. Uh, huh? oh. They have dropped that other capabilities will offset the app and deter. First is that the U.S. Uh, defensive weapons like that can provide interoperability and can deter. Second, the U.S. has sent aircraft carriers, weapons, and troops that are uh, sufficient to deter Iran without arms or without fault. Or third, is the U.S. saying can kill Iran's economy. They won't do anything to provoke the U.S. Those good men, they simply can't uh, fund missions and want to protect their own economy. There's no link. Their argument about credibility is wrong because uh, the U.S. didn't fund Saudi Arabia when their oil was attacked. It shouldn't affect her ability. And Abdullian says that Soleimani had the same effect. They said that Houthis would, uh, uh, but that's inevitable. The, uh, they don't have evidence that Saudi will win. And now, Houthis will uh, win inevitably. Also, sorry, 3 3. Saudi is moving, losing the war in Yemen. Saudi failed to provide military support to stand off the Houthis. So, Houthis resists an uh, airstrike that, uh, that can bomb one vehicle. Uh, you do the math, we said that it was an airstrike that uh, uh, created resentment. Mark the card. Uh, the report is inherent in evidence. It's wrong. Right? It's not uh, specific to the, uh, uh, it's not Saudi specific. So, other GCC countries can check Iran. Second, it doesn't matter that, uh, that Saudi has good tech because they won't use offensive weapons for deterrence. They don't even use them to retaliate through Iran's attacks on oils. That was uh, Abdul Karaz. Uh, I proved that Iran won't feel uh, deterred by arms and Saudi has zero value. Um, I have 648 starting now.
order will be the negotiations counter plan. The actually let's do Iran disad. The um relations disad. The negotiations counter plan, then case in the order of framing advantage. Can you say that one more time, please? Yeah. Iran, relations, the counter plan, framing. Advantage to the bottom or framing at the bottom? Advantage to the bottom. Is anybody not ready? There's a framing issue. The 2AC is fundamentally non-responsive to both the Iran decide and the counter plan. It doesn't read some significant evidence extended in the 1AR, but that assumes the COVID crisis, which will win as a thesis level claim that implicates all of their offense. First, on the overview for the decide framing issue, their defense is not based on the allied pearl of impact on the 2AC. Don't give them any of their framing issue claims on the framing page because they can see an Asian probe escalates and concession of it literally makes it try or die. The conceded implant probe definitely outweighs which bolster your social years because the conceded probe is incredibly likely and causes nuclear war specifically in Asia. That means they can't access something compounding risk that because they haven't proven the top level claims that our impact is 0.001% likely. It's incredibly likely because they have no defense proliferation in East Asia causes mad gaps, preemptive strikes, arm racing, and escalates territorial conflicts. Our evidence against Japan and South Korea will new places like China to settle disputes. We also have an incredibly recent evidence that again, China's are making a play for increased hegemony now, which means Allied Prolif is on the brink. Only the affirmative tips it over the edge. We can send the key signal of credibility. I'll do that on the link debate. They can see the Tanzer evidence uh, that indicates that it, it will cause East Asian Prolif. All of their argument here is that it doesn't, but the Tanzer evidence is specific. It also causes Middle East Prolif to extend the time frame outweighs. You can see how it determines whose impact turns who's, and you can only die once. Extend the two turns case levels, both of which fundamentally are, um, aren't handled well enough. Extend the visa takes up top of the and drawing down Ron will pocket the evidence for more concessions to get angry with their denial when they only answer this is the run is in revisions, but I'll win that on the revision bay includes aggression against Saudi and prolonged Yemen, where second is the impact prolif if it's any reason the happens to be because increases Saudi aggression and triggers last year in Yemen by escalating the conflict that goes conceded of Tantra makes this deliver claim that Asian prolif causes more allied prolif general which means they functionally get the the Saudi or even prolif internally coming out of the one AR that's the only answer to the Tantra evidence that assume extend at the top of the war run is fundamentally an aggression of revisionist towers there answers don't assume the recent evidence we read that says stuff like sanctions have only made Iran more aggressive and more willing to lash out in the status quo, which means we have a fundamental recency problem that they cannot contest with anything they've read. Stuff like a run escalation because of the sanctions, because of pressure on the royal family, means even if they weren't revisionists, when their evidence is written, they definitely are now on the link which is the only other piece of defense they can win. Extend the arms sales key. The court's main evidence is fantastic on this uh, question and answers all their problems. Evidence. They say no evidence to GCC country solved, but no, it doesn't say. It says that Saudi Arabia's key details, FMS program being key to Gulf states. They say that other GCC countries solved, but no, because they don't have any arguments about what other Gulf countries are in the business of actively preventing war against Saudi Arabia countries like and they have to identify specific countries that have specific things to get us wrong so they don't have any evidence on it. Also detailed the FMS program thinking of things like three arguments. One is interoperability to increase uh, increase the interoperability between the US and Saudi Arabia troops means that means stuff like fighter jets which are fundamentally offensive weapons defensive don't solve con course it's also all about offensive weapons in the context of modernization which means there's key military modernization key mission areas like the fighter jet pilots which they would definitely get rid of to prevent the air campaign. Third is it kills Iranian hybrid warfare which is a key thesis level claim on the revision Today because Iranian is trying to focus on exploiting. I think she just like got figured off or something. Yeah, can we hear? Yeah, I I can hear y'all. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I will call her. How did you, did you lose me? Yes. Yeah, we uh, lost you. You were at, see, um, yeah, yes. you were at Iranian That's hybrid key. warfare, which Iran cares a lot about. That's key. And then you cut off. So just, I don't know where you were on a timer. I don't have one up, but just I think, like, I think it was 210. Well, I think okay. I was at like right before and <clears throat> no, it was about 210. Okay. Sorry. No, yeah, you're, um, you're totally fine. It's no big deal. 
All right, 210 starting now. Military modernization to Orion hybrid warfare, which is key. It also proves their vision because they're using it to exploit internal divisions and more. I think it's against countries. Go to relations. On the relationship of the NXP, the impact I'm not going for. Oh, Arm cells are key to re to reassure allies. That's Order that's Ron, Arm cells are key to reassure allies. That's Kordsman. I did a bunch of work on this. Does it matter? It's only about Rishis allies perceiving Iran being a business. It's only about allies perceiving Iran as aggression. That's the credibility link, which is at the top, which isn't answered by any of their stuff about Saudi Arabia not perceiving because it's all about allied countries in East Asia, which is the internal link to our terminal impact, which I did above. Yeah, go to um, the counter plan. The counter plan solves 100% of the case. Negotiations solved now. There's a framing issue. There's just no solving the deficit based on evidence, assuming the pressures on Saudi due to COVID. And it's only a question of sustainable peace negotiations. The counter plan provides that by creating U.S. pressure for peace, extends sufficiency framing. Good is good enough. Solving the deficits are impossible to quantify. Extend it. Uh, the cross -exit. So we can just keep counter plan. If you think it doesn't solve the affirmative, uh, the two are, uh, the, we shouldn't be settled with our good conditionality is absolute. They say the primary both. No, there's no shielding our good The primary still links the net benefit because it still sends a signal of abandonment, even if we pressure Saudi Arabia. That's just another. In, and it's an indication that we're supporting negotiations, not they want only uh, that, not that we are abandoning them. They say that Saudi will slow our peace up, but all of their evidence from 2019 or 18 that assumes that Saudi Arabia doesn't want the peace. But we've made a thesis level claim that also takes out the impact of the advantage that Saudi Arabia wants to get out of the war. Now, the only argument they have on this is at all recent is the evidence that we've recut and says that both Saudi Arabia wants to get out of the war and says that it's possible they want to uh, simplify the who these and uh, who these breaking the peace process. But the uh, how about the article concludes that it's more likely Saudi Arabia wants to get out of the war because none of their evidence assumes things like COVID destroying half the royal family and uh, them getting into oil price wars, which was depleted their reserves. They're framing. The two, uh, the one AR is just not good at the top of framing. They all, this is the probability 0.01%. I did the impact hack on the Iran decided, which means you don't. Damn, okay. I have it at like 25 seconds. I'm yeah, back, uh, sorry. My Wi Fi keeps cutting out. <laughs> Okay, no, Eleanor, totally I, think you're at 25, I think you're at 25 seconds. Okay. And it was like, impact calculus on Iran was the last thing I heard. Okay, um, yeah, 25 seconds. I was, where did you catch me? Impact calculus on Iran. Like, I did the impact calculus yeah, on yeah, Iran. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The only other argument they have that could win this debate is the ethicality and empathetic evidence, but they don't have any bright line considering what uh, utilitarianism and what deontological considers ethical uh, empathy and what that empathy actually spills over to do. Don't get the two air any new contextualization on this question because the two NC explicitly flagged as an exit area where they didn't have enough explanation extended Clark evidence to the case that biases from probability first also exist, which means they answered all the questions. Utilitarianism is fundamentally preferable because they don't have any offense indicating utilitarianism is necessarily bad. Also, all of our impact calc indicates our impact are real. How much time does the app have right now? I have 309. Okay.
Wait, can I use the restroom before I start my speech? Uh, in the case, then then the counter plan, then I ran. Or actually, sorry. So it's just framing. I don't know why I said case. So just framing, counter plan, then I ran. Okay, um, is everyone good? Good, okay. You should vote out on a certain risk of case that definitely outweighs the low probability of a dissat. That definitely means that as long as we're able to mitigate the risk of a dissat happening by just a little bit, a risk that we win, a framing argument that our impacts come first be that it's an auto app ballot because the counter plan basically doesn't solve any of the app. Their only argument against our deontology warrants is that there's no reason, no specific reason why empathy is key, but they have completely conceded the Olsen evidence coming out of the two and R is, is an independent dissat to utilitarianism says that when we prioritize future life, that are dying and it's a form of temporal blackmail that infinitely differs trying to solve violence in the present which allows for thousands of millions of people to die uh, to, to, to die in the present which is a fundamentally unethical system that says Olson Olson says you should reject this is a completely conceded this that too you tell proves that it should be auto which means that you should automatically flip your decision calculus to affirm deontology that means genocide definitely comes first you have to buy have a uniquely higher threshold of what you're obligated to do we are the
the last time for the victims, which means we shouldn't let them down. Now, the next argument I will go for is the fact that using deontology is necessary to foster empathy among students. We have the most specific evidence in the ground. All of your appeals to how empathy isn't specific is just BS, because obviously the Conway evidence is that on average, whenever people default to utilitarian judgments, people are more likely to foster empathetic parts of their brain. And the Amico evidence is that that is vital to creating good student leaders who will go onto the world and become actual good people, reduce violence and biases, which means that we have an in-round impact that definitely outweighs theirs. Theirs are all theoretical, whereas ours can actually make us better people. Proof that it comes first. Now, on the counter plan, the genocide comes first, which means that even a small solvency deficit that means that the counter plan even causes one more instance of targeted genocide means that the counter plan should be rejected on face as a course to the framing page that the, 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 the two in our did not get to the counter plan with enough time to not deal with the nuanced arguments that we are making as to why the counter plan cannot solve the app. One is the Christian evidence that's, that's about time frame. It says that a peace deal is only effective with the app because only when we end all arms of Saudi Arabia will Saudi Arabia feel pressured enough and get serious about negotiations. Otherwise, they will just keep stalling and the status quo and not agree to status quo negotiations. The Christian evidence specifically says that those talks would draw on for years, which means that thousands and thousands of time people will die in the interim person they can't access the framing page. Second is that the Montgomery evidence is literally better than every single negative part that they've read in this debate. It says that it says that because the counterplans on uh, the threshold for what is a good peace deal is so vague, Trump will just consent to the biggest agreement possible because he just wants credit that he ended the Yemen war. This consenting to a big agreement will in inevitably in entrench the warring parties and ensure that the war will continue after the counterplan completely conceded in the two and armies that this counterplan is zero probability of solving the Yemen war and only ending all arms sales have the ability to solve. Iran. Oh wait, and also back on the counterplan. There are, you know how Saudi Arabia wants out now. It's not offense against the out. We've read much more recent evidence that says that Saudi Arabia has increased airstrikes and the naval blockade, which shows proof that this doesn't sound the out. Okay, Iran. All of their terms case scenarios are contingent on them winning the link because both of them, uh, the, both their scenarios about Asian prolif as well as Middle Eastern prolif are about low, uh, are about you, concerns about US reliability or the US as a terrain washer. As long as we're able to zero out a risk of a link, none of this actually matters. I'll specifically answer their prolif scenario, prolif link term just because Saudi Arabia gets nukes does not mean that they re intervene into Yemen. They have conceded, uh, they conceded the Bosni evidence that says that we send a signal to Saudi Arabia that the work can be won, which means that it forces Saudi Arabia to draw down afterwards, which means that they will not want to re intervene afterwards because they fear the U.S. is wrapped. There's nothing about, about, about getting nuclear weapons that will make them want to reverse that. Now on the link today, this isn't even close. We have made multiple arguments as to why there are multiple deterrence measures in place that are able to outweigh the small de decrease in terms of deterrence that will happen if we end offensive arms sales. One is the fact that they conceded the good in evidence that says that Iran has a, a devastating sanctions imposed on it, which means that they literally cannot function as a country right now and will never launch any positive military moves. This means that these sanctions are so devastating that even if the app decides to reduce the offensive arms sales, it sends a sufficient signal to allies that the U.S. is willing to deter Iran too. It's the Boulder evidence. The U.S. literally sent an aircraft carrier to the Middle East to deter Iran. Boulder says this is sufficient to get Iran to back down no matter what happens with the offensive arms sales. Proves that it is sufficient to outweigh the signal at the app. But if their argument is that these things are still outweighed by a small instance of the U.S. backing down, that is already thumped because they conceded on the relations to you that the U.S. already did not defend Saudi Arabia when Saudi Arabia and oil was being attacked, which is that the U.S. is already unreliable and will not stand up to Iran. Also, all these other concerns about interoperability and hybrid warfare are solved or are inevitable because they can see that all the Sunni evidence that the Saudi Arabia will lose the war inevitably, which means all these wars of a hybrid warfare as well as failing the failing Iranian deterrence are inevitable because Iran will inevitably win the war now. And there's absolutely no risk that deterrence will continue in the future because the Houthis will beat Saudi Arabia eventually and the dissent is not the eight. Good debate. Good debate. <clears throat> um, I can make the card doc for Iran. Okay, cool. I'll do it for the counterplan.